This otter was found as a very young pup and she was picked up actually by a tender for a fishing boat. Um, she was caught in their nets. So they pulled her out of the nets and called us at the Sea Life Center and we were able to authorize, um, get authorization to bring the pup to the Sea Life Center for rehabilitation. She is not a releasable animal. That's because she's so dependent on people. We have humans caring for her 24 hours a day and we need to feed her and groom her coat so that she'll stay warm and clean and just take care of her like mom would out in the wild, which is very hands-on and therefore she becomes dependent on people so we can't release her into the wild. Their fur is very important because unlike other marine mammals, they don't have blubber. So sea otters rely on their fur solely to keep them warm. So they need to blow air in, into it and constantly keep their fur clean and fluffed up so that they can stay warm in the cold water. So right now we feed her every four hours. Um, otters have a very high metabolism, so they need to eat anywhere from 20 to 35 percent of their body weight each day. So we feed them a combination of formula and solids. So we've started her on clams and squid and capelin and mussels so we can get her used to a wide variety of food. The rehab program is the only rehabilitation program in the state of Alaska for marine mammals. So we respond to calls and reports of stranded marine mammals throughout the entire state, which as you can imagine is a lot of shoreline. Um, so once we get those calls we work with NOAA and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service who we have stranding agreements with and that allows us to bring the animals to the Sea Life Center in order to be rehabilitated and our goal whenever possible is to release these animals as wild healthy animals.